So basic today, um, we'll put this post in, we've got to screw it into here with masonry screws, dyna bolts like them, because there's a stormwater drain just here, so I can't get the post in the ground. So we offered the client, we can bring the post back, run it through, put a couple of pickets on this side, or we fasten it to here. So the uh, client's taking decision, we'll bolt it to that, and if at the end of the day someone pulls down this, we'll, we'll just have to rebuild this, rebuild this bay. Put two hidden posts, um, which go behind the picket fence because the bay's too wide. Um, and then we'll put the bottom board on called a plinth. Uh, we'll do the checkouts for the rails and maybe get the rails on. And then tomorrow, um, absolutely start putting the pickets on where it actually starts to look like a fence. Um, the other thing I do, so I don't order my gates before putting in my pedestrian posts. I wait till I put my pedestrian posts in and then go and order the gate to make sure it fits absolutely exactly where I want it to. So you put them in and go measure them again? No, nah, so I put those posts in, yep. and then I'll go to the fabricator, the right. person who makes the, uh, the steel frame for the gate, and say oh, I need it exactly eight, nine, five millimetres wide by yep. X tall. So rather than try and get the post to match the gate, I put the posts in, yep. and then I'll come back in a couple of weeks time when the gate's made and put, and put that in. Ah, okay. Better finish. Yeah, no, no, I say that up front, so um, uh, I say I, I build the fence and then I measure for the gate, I go to the fabricator, it'll take at least a week for them to, to get it, um, make it, and then I come back and finish it off. Yep. Yep. What's it, the old saying? Um, in the spirit of no surprises. So, I mean, yeah, and you don't always have that luxury of having the client at home. Yeah. But, uh, certainly. Do you do that? Do you call them up or do you? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And you, and you might say, listen, I'm due there on Monday and I've organised power for you, all that sort of thing. Yeah. And then you'll go, um, if I need to get hold of you, what's the best way? Generally, when you're building fences, um, like on a, just a generic timber paling, once you've pulled down the old one and you've ran your string, that's when, you, that's when it tells you what could be a challenge. Um, you don't always see everything until you pull the old fence down. Uh, once this post is on, it's, it's happy days. So, oh. Tell you what, this job does keep the weight off. So what I'm doing is I'm be countersinking. You use masonry screws, but they're only 100 mil long. You can't really get much longer. Those posts are 115 in depth, 125 rough, 115 dressed. Um, so you basically make a big hole so you can get your bolt all the way through and you've got enough at the other end to go into the What I'm trying to do is put a uh, hole in this post that is not too much to the front because it'll put it on the front of the brick, which probably means it'll crack. So I don't want to miss the bit where I'm doing the checkout. So if we go there, I'll get there. So that's 50. Oh, hang on. No. 50 mil. I've basically set that up and now I, I line it up on the brickwork. I use a masonry drill to drill a hole in the brickwork yep. and then basically just screw them in. Um, so the hard bit's done, lining it up will take a little bit. And then I'd put two posts there, they'll take no time. Feel like eating sawdust? <laughs> this looks a bit sus, don't put this on a bloody camera. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 I'm the one kissing the post. <laughs> go on the extra mile. You can get a little blower thing that just you go, Pff. I just have, and they're about five bucks. Do you think I've remembered to, no. Nah. Gotcha.
that's perfect. So what you have to do with these, um, rather than use like a impact driver or a wrench or something, because you don't feel it when it goes into the brick, and it'll just pull the brick out. Right. So, so you got to do it by hand so you can actually feel it. <sighs> just data fraction, which is not how it went on. So I don't know. Oh, that's enough. Look here. Yep. You can see the bubble. Yeah, yeah. See how it's just, just inside. Just a little bit over here. Yep. Where is that? Yep. Oh, it's not, it's not just a tad, isn't it? It's not. Just a tad. So all I'll do is. Now, that post is not going anywhere. Beautiful, look at that, hey? Happy days, I'm happy camping now. So what we do now, um, we're just putting the two hidden posts in, then I'm gonna stop for a quick coffee. Right. Another one. So what I'm doing here, just to explain it to you guys, so these posts are all in a line, and then what I'm putting in is a post that goes behind the picket that you don't see. Um, which is what we call a hidden post. And then make sure I get my post exactly in the middle. Yep. All right, just, uh, just on the inside of that post. Yep. Thanks, John. Yep, perfect, right? No, that's all right, it's only a one nine. Right there. favour guys and, and normally I do this on my own but if you just hold that post there right there and I won't get any cement on your right. beautiful That's white right. shoes Joel here on a uh, trial day um, don't forget the dressed appropriately for yes. trial day <laughs> I don't mind doing picket fences because it's not overly hard on your body um, and it's just a little bit more you know all I'm doing here is because the the plinth board you know the bottom bit of timber goes along the bottom here so what a lazy fencer would do would be to and you see this like just put lift the plinth up a bit higher um, Where's the rock? Yep. Yeah, it does a bit. So, we're fences, we're not gardeners. So, we just take out what we need. It's just that tree. What I gotta be careful, there's a Telstra pit just here. And if I cut through that, that's my profit. So all I'm doing is getting this out so I can put the bottom board right on the ground. It's always better to backfill. So what I'm doing here is, you'll see in a sec. So the client will just need to um, fix up where I've marked with pencil in that. So guys, it looks like it's going slowly, but trust me, it's coming together. This is what they call a mitre saw or a drop saw. Um, tend to not use it except for like picket fences. It gives a really nice finish rather than just using a circular saw. It's got lines in it, which is, it means it's been lasered. Oh yeah, oh yeah, the side Yep. So what that means is it's a good structure. Good in. Um, they won't sort of do funny things. So what I'm doing is building blocks to put at the back of the, um, these posts, and then you fasten the um, you fasten the plinth onto the blocks. So 35. I 
I don't think we'll get the rails in today, but we'll get pretty close. What you do is plug it in. So all I'm doing is building blocks, and so then I go, that's going to go that way. Then what we put on is like a, what we call a weather cut, just so the water drips off. So what you do is, so when you put that on the back, so the water runs off the back. So basically, that goes there, that goes there. That's that one, I'll pick a good one. That one looks good. What tends to happen is when you misplace your drill, your impact driver there, when you, I just, I, I use the um, clamp because you screw them and they spin and they get, and you want them really nice and snug at the back. Bang. The number of days where it's been a washout doesn't happen as often as you think it would. And if it's going to be a bit of drizzle, like it was last, depends on what part of the job you're up to. So if you're digging holes, it's painful. If you're just doing paling, it's clean and you just put the, put your wet weather gear on and That's not going anywhere. So once I put the plinth on, then it's basically marking out exactly where the rails are to go. Just cutting out. Just a tree, sorry, a brick that's got a tree around it. That's another thing that happens in Brunswick a bit. There's a lot of people burying stuff. Got him. So you'll see, like you can't get timber to match. So this, I butted this piece right up against that to, cause that's gets foot traffic. Whereas this bit up here, it's probably about two mil short, but you fill that with no more gaps. And by the time you paint it, you don't see it. Now you have to say it's starting to look like a fence. So that's my plinth done. Straight as a gun barrel. So basically, the height of the fence is going to be that plus that. So now I'm just trying to work out where I'm going to put my rails. So I'm using that as a template. We just agreed. So, yeah, so you buy the pickets in 900 or 1200 or 1500, 300 mil increments. I know the bottom one's um, 140. So one of the ways to do it. So rather than buy, so if they said they wanted something 50 mil higher, then you have to buy taller pickets and manually cut each one, which is not hard, but it just takes more time and more materials. So I said, why don't we make it the lowest part, um, 1040, which is 140 plus 900. So these ones just go bang, 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 bang. And then I cut the taller ones because it's going to be taller like that and then step down to three. So 900. So then I'll go right, eh? Roughly, where do I want my rails? Uh, no right or wrong. So that's 100 mil up from the bottom. Yep. This is just an example. 
So that would take it to, which is not a bad height, so the bottom rail would be there. And then I just gotta work out where I wanna put my top one. So I'm going, right, where do I want my rails? That's all I'm trying to work out. So all I'm doing now is using this as a template. I'm going. I haven't taken a lead, what have I been, five years or something? I haven't taken a lead for bloody two years or three years. Do you compare with referral work for anything after? Is it something that's canvas much or is it something that's just organically worked normally? Just, it's just grown organically. Yeah. Uh, but, and it gets to the point sometimes when my pipeline gets a bit skinny, and I go, maybe I should jump it. No, I'm, no, I won't. How much is your pipeline in advance? Is it sort of like a month in advance? Or? Generally between about two to six weeks, just depending. So all I'm doing now, unfortunately with picket fences, you've got to, unlike these where you can bash, bang and get it all done, you're cutting out, so you need just need to take your time a bit more. So that's the back rail, that goes to there exactly. <laughs> Watch out for old rusty letter boxes. Go. Not bad, not bad. Still got the paparazzi here. Yeah. <laughs> They've been going at me all day. Yeah. You love it. Not really. Yeah, I'll enjoy the company, but uh, <laughs> so yeah, no, all good. <laughs> you can see these couple of holes here. Oh yeah. And that's not going anywhere. Um, so, um, yeah. Very nice. And the fence doesn't go as high as that. Don't worry, they get cut, those ones. As high as... Oh, yeah. <laughs> You'd be... Sp <laughs> so when you put, like, even those ones, people come out and go, because you've got the top of the post yeah. and they're, can't be that high. <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. It really comes off, like comes off. So. Oh, very good. Um, and I'll be back tomorrow roughly about the same time to start yeah. pulling I'll, it together. Um, I'll hang around. I normally sort of shoot off a bit early to go over to my other job. Yep. 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 Morning, everyone. Uh, this is day two of the job, so we've put in uh, the remaining posts, uh, and then what we've put in is the structural kiln dried uh, plinth board, uh, which is 140 by 38 in dimensions, uh, lasered. Uh, we've also had to screw a post in uh, with masonry screws into the brick wall at the end because there was a stormwater drain just underneath it, about that far, so not very good for putting posts in the ground. Um, so I'll do the checkouts for the rails and then we'll cut the, the hidden posts there and um, tomorrow we'll start putting the pickets on and it'll start looking like a fence.